welcome to the ETX Capital Trader Pro tutorial series and in this short video we will look at how to use one of the most popular indicators, the MACD. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence or MACD is a trend following momentum indicator which shows the relationship between two moving averages to identify changes in the market. Now to add the MACD to our chart, we can simply select it from our indicators list and our side panel opens up showing the various parameters that we wish to set. Now usually a MACD shows the difference between two exponential moving averages. Usually this involves the 26 day EMA and the 12 day EMA. You will see that these are defined in the side panel and are the default settings. The signal line is the nine day exponential moving average of the MACD line. And when the two lines cross over it's taken as a signal that a change in trend is likely. We'll save that to the chart and now we can start to look for signals. There are three key signals we look for in MACD. The first one is divergence. If the security price diverges from the MACD, it can indicate the end of the current trend. For example, if a security is rising and the MACD line starts falling, it could mean the rally is about to end. For example, here on the Germany 30, we can see the MACD line just starting to turn lower just before the fall off in prices. Again, we can also look at the signal line crossover. This is the second of the key signals. And this type of crossover occurs when the grey MACD line, in this case, crosses the red signal or trigger line. A bullish crossover occurs when the MACD rises above the signal line, for example here. A bearish crossover occurs when the MACD turns down to cross below the signal line, for example here, just before this large sell-off. The third indicator that we look for is a center line crossover. This occurs when the MACD crosses the center line that runs through the middle of the MACD indicator. A bullish center line crossover occurs when the 12 day EMA of the security moves above the 26 day EMA. In other words, that is when the MACD line starts to rise above zero and the reverse happens when the MACD crosses below zero. Note also the histogram chart which simply shows the relationship of the two MACD moving averages and therefore is in addition to the grey MACD line. But the histogram can provide earlier signals than the MACD line itself and therefore traders often use this in addition to the main MACD and signal lines. For more on the MACD indicator take a look at our education page and for the next MACD Masterclass webinar.